For this build, I will show you how I made my own solid wood flooring planks using S4S beach hardwood and how I installed these planks to the floor. First, I broke down my lumber to 3 feet length to make it more manageable using a miter saw. I will now use my table saw to cut the planks into 4 inch width. Instead of the usual 1 inch thick flooring planks, I'll be using about half an inch thick planks to cut on cost and maximize my wood. Next up would be the thickness planer. If you decide to make a similar project like this, you would need a bit of patience and determination because you would do several steps uh, over and over again. I'll be using a shaper to cut the rabbits on the planks. You can also use a router table as an alternative to this machine or a table saw equipped with a dado blade. Using a straight bit, I made three light passes to avoid blowout on the ends of the plank. Since I'll be using thinner planks, I screwed down 3 4 marine plywood sheets to the floor and to make also the surface as flat as possible. The area should be clean to maximize the strength of the glue. It is important that you make the first row of your planks straight because this will dictate the alignment of your succeeding rows. For the glue, I'm using a Pioneer wood glue. Uh, it is D3 water resistant. Uh, this should be enough to do the job. I'm using a Makita cordless brad nailer to hold down the plank until the glue dries up. Instead of using more nails to hold on the other side, I'm using weights to hold on the plank. Uh, this will uh, reduce the scarring on the wood for better uh, appearance and aesthetics.
having cordless power tools such as this 18 volts miter saw and my cordless brad nailer really provides convenience and speeds up the project plus the building experience would be much better So, this is why I'm a woodworking dad. Be careful, be careful. Don't clean it. I'll remove this one. That was a good boy. Yeah! Done. I'll close that. I should have started on this side first. This was the first time I made something like this. It is challenging at the same time fun because whenever you encounter a problem and find a solution, uh, it makes it all worth it. I've been working on this project for several weekends now. Wow. It became a pop-up studio wow. and a new play area for him. For the areas where I did not put solid wood planks, I would be building here uh, built-in wardrobe cabinets. I will be showing you that build on my next video. So finally, after almost 4 weekends, I have finished this build. For my next video, I will show you how I built the built-in wardrobe cabinets and how I finished this solid wood flooring planks. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.